So we'll go ahead and start. If you want to get yourself into good meditation posture. And just check in and notice if you've gathered any tension through the course of the day. And just invite your muscles, tendons, joints to release and relax for everything to settle back into its natural position. And shift your focus to the breath. And as you spend a few moments gently focused on the breath, observe its natural rhythm without interfering in it. If you're feeling very distracted, you can count the breaths or just stay with the sensation of the breath on the nostrils or the sensation of breathing from your abdomen. As thoughts naturally arise, 
simply notice them briefly and let them go without judgment. Choose not to entertain plans or reminisce in the past. Keep returning to the breath. And then set the motivation. Decide to use this meditation to tame and develop your mind's potential. You can add the four immeasurable thoughts or just keep it broad, but let your mind mix with altruism.
So first identify equanimity, this goodwill, whether the person is close and dear to you, a friend, or someone you have aversion towards, an enemy, or someone you're indifferent towards, a stranger. Equanimity generates kindness, regardless if that person is harmful or helpful. So just stabilize the meaning of the word. Ground yourself in that concept. And now visualize in front of you three persons. On the left, a good friend. In the middle, a stranger. To the right, an enemy or someone you cannot stand. Just pick three representatives of the categories you put people in. A friend, an enemy, and a stranger. Think of their faces. Imagine them facing you, also seated. Stabilize those three. Having picked those three people, now just concentrate on the friend. Observe and examine your feelings towards them. You can make a list or just get a sense or a feeling. How is it that you hold them in your mind, this friend? Allow a natural affection to arise.
And then to prevent that warmth and affection from being tinged or co-opted by attachment. Think about how this person might become your enemy if they harmed you or harmed someone you love. Or just think about the different things that could make them less appealing to be with if you don't want to be so dramatic. But just entertain possibilities about their less desirable characteristics. Let the fact of the full spectrum of their humanity temper your tendency towards attachment. And so imagine the attachment going and the love strengthening by having a more equanimous mind. Now shift to the stranger and examine your feelings towards them. The stranger could be some acquaintance, someone you see in your neighborhood but haven't spoken to, but just try to bring to mind some specific stranger and notice your feelings towards them an exercise of self-awareness. And then think about how this person could become your friend or your enemy in the future. What actions would it take? Gestures of kindness, gestures of harm. Just imagine that stranger transforming into a closer relationship. Invite that possibility.
And now concentrate on the enemy and just look at those feelings that you have towards them. Really bear witness to that sense of aversion, whether it's mild irritation and annoyance or a visceral rage or fear. Just notice And then using your imagination, using your logic, think about how this person might become a friend in future. If helping you, if helping someone you love, or how maybe your attitude towards them would soften if you saw them getting old and fragile, or if you saw them destitute. or if you saw them transformed, becoming a more loving individual. But allow the fact of impermanence to weigh in and imagine that person becoming friend. And again, look at your friend and try to strongly feel your love and appreciation for them. And look at the stranger and hold and direct that feeling also towards the stranger. And again, look at your friend And again, try to strongly feel your love and appreciation for them. And try to hold this feeling while looking at the enemy. Is it possible to feel some love and compassion? So using the friend as your pivot point, as your touchstone, direct that same affection to the other two as best you can. And then ask yourself, is it true that all three, friend, stranger, and enemy, are completely equal in trying to become happy and trying to avoid suffering? No matter what it looks like, 
no matter how skillful or unskillful, that these are the aims they all try to achieve. Sometimes their methods towards those aims are spot on, and sometimes they're misguided. Is how we label based on our experience of someone, not the totality of who they are. Is it that we isolate certain traits, then fixate and build a story about the person due to them? We then imagine sending to all three people, thinking that they represent everyone, all sentient beings, loving kindness and compassion in the form of golden light coming from our hearts. And with that light, we think to all of them, may you be well, may you be happy. Generate, generate, genuine goodwill the best we can. Send this light in all directions equally. And then everyone dissolves into light and absorbs into you. And dedicate the positive mental energy you put into these thoughts to ripen your full potential of compassion wisdom and ability in order to aid all living beings, regardless if they help or harm. And remember dependent arising and you can relax your attention. Okay, thanks everyone. Have a nice night.